Hi, my name is Adam and this is an introduction to some of the glassware you'll be using in second year analytical chemistry. First we have various volumetric flasks. These are used to make very accurate concentrations of different solutions. Each one of them comes with a single mark on it and can only be used to produce the volume that is on the label of the flask. These will be used to produce most of your standards and unknown samples in most of your experiments. The next glass we will use commonly are beakers. Um, they are just for holding volumes of liquid, but not for specific accurate measurements. Uh, likewise with your Erlenmeyer flasks, which are often used for titrations, uh, they are not to be used for accurate measurements of volume. And there's several different ways we transfer accurate volumes in this lab. Most commonly you'll want to use your transfer pipettes, which have the indicated volume on them, and a single line like the volumetric flasks. These are the most accurate means you have to transfer volumes in this lab. If you require a volume that is not uh, associated with one of those uh, pipettes, you have two other graduated pipettes which there is a slight difference and you can tell by looking at the tip here. On the right we have the serological or blowout pipette where the gradations go all the way to the bottom. This pipette is intended to be uh, emptied right from whatever line you're at to the very bottom. And on the left we have a more pipette which the bottom part is uncalibrated. So to deliver 10 mils in this pipette you would go from the zero line and stop at the 10. On this stand we have a burette which is used for commonly for titrations and uh, is a good way of uh, putting accurate volumes in. You always begin at any of these lines and the volume you put into your flask is the difference between where you begin and where you end using this Teflon cockstop to control flow rate. Each burette comes with a cockstop at, located at the bottom which is used to control flow rate by how far you turn this piece here. It's important for you to uh, understand how to properly use your glassware before attending a lab to perform experiment.